This, we, are, we are presenting on AI Replacing Jobs, presented by me, Sinat Sitharam, Noah Smith, Andrew Helker, and John Krasowski. So to understand this problem, we need to know what AI is in the first place. It stands for artificial intelligence. Artificial because it's man-made, and intelligent due to its ability to learn from experience and make future decisions based on that experience. And this process is called machine learning. That plays directly into the three types of AI present in our societies today, as defined by the University of Chicago, Illinois. These three types of AI include, number one, machine learning, two, neural networks, and three, natural language processors. Machine learning, as I stated before, is simply the type of AI that learns from past experience and makes future decisions and patterns. Neural networks are more sophisticated, however, because they emulate the exact structure of the human brain meaning that they have more components and layers and can do more sophisticated tasks. Finally, we have natural language processors. These types of AI specifically focus on the human language aspect of humanity, meaning that they are indispensable for AIs like chatbots. And speaking of chatbots, what are some applications of AI we already see in society? One of the most commonly thought of ones is self-driving cars, like the picture of Waymo up on the top left. Although this is a very new and emerging technology, it still shows that AI has the ability to take the place of humans who would otherwise be driving these cars, meaning that they, uh, they have the ability to replace humans in many aspects. Secondly, we have chatbots, as pictured here. These types will allow natural language processors and more sophisticated examples, like ChatGPT 3.5 and 4, have already mastered the art of generating language, meaning that they can help a lot of people and even do tasks with them. Robotic surgery is another one, as shown here. And it shows that AI has the ability to do very sophisticated and precise tasks. Lastly, we have cryptocurrency, which shows that AI has the ability to be a backbone in our societies. But with all this in mind, what can we do to make sure that AI doesn't completely replace us in the future? This graph by Oxford University and Tech, the company Cognizant, shows the different exposure score of different jobs by AI showing that a wide variety of, of jobs will be exposed and even replaced by AI. So the two solutions to this problem we'll be discussing are first, figuring out how to maximize the jobs created by AI, and secondly, passing legislation to regulate. So one counterintuitive solution to solving the problem of AI taking jobs is to wait for new jobs to be generated. Some view AI taking jobs as un unjust and wrong, while others see the possible upsides, like the newly generated and improved jobs created. David Rotman, a senior editor at the MIT Technology Review, suggests that perhaps we just have to be patient. Technology advances have always increased incomes, which then increased demand for goods and services, which then led to more jobs. Paolo Cecchi de Meglia elaborates on this by giving us a real world, world example. She explains that when the writing cultivator was created in 1863 by John Deere, many field jobs were lost to this new technology. However, Many more jobs were created in fields such as manufacturing, advertising, and repairing. This, this situation is no different. New jobs will be generated by AI because of the growing AI and the growing needs of it. A study by, done by the World Economic Forum suggests or concludes that 85 million jobs will be taken and replaced by AI. However, 97 million new jobs will be generated. These jobs will range from things like AI specialists to other technology specialists. So, while jobs may be at first replaced by AI, it is only a matter of time before new jobs are created. Another way to address the concern of AI taking our jobs is through the implementation of laws, legislations, and regulations that limit the use of AI in the workforce. One example of AI regulation from Peter Sullivan, a writer for Reason Magazine, is recently the Writers Guild agreed that AI should be used to enhance their human work, but it cannot be solely credited for writing a piece of literature on its own. This will help protect the imagination and creative writing in the community. Another case of use of legislation regulating AI from Lawrence Norden of the Brennan Center for Justice is the state of New York passed a law in 2021 restricting the use of automated decision-making systems within the process of recruiting and hiring of employees. In the past,
past, AI has been biased, which is unfair to the candidates applying for these jobs. In both of these cases, the human element is essential to the value of the work. In this study by BCLP Law, a well-regarded law firm that focuses on litigation, you can see states such as Texas, New Mexico, and California have already implemented legislation on AI. However, states including Arizona have not implemented any legislation. Therefore, there are many opportunities within our country for the advancement of AI legislation. A limitation of legislation as a solution to this problem is the legal process is very lengthy. This means that laws can take months, even years to be passed. And these past laws cannot address every use case and as AI is constantly evolving, these laws will have to constantly be updated. Legislation is not a quick nor one-time fix to this solution. This solution will protect existing jobs, but it limits the ability for us to embrace the power of AI to create new jobs. Overall, this is best used in moderation, where it allows us to protect jobs, but it allows for the new creation of more jobs. The most effective solution is where legislation takes action and enforces laws that either limit or in some cases prohibit the use of AI and its implications. AI has many positives, such as new job development and the creation of new roles. New roles. As seen in this graph from Statista, a very reliable graphing website, of over 2 million jobs have been created and only 1.8 of them have been eliminated in 2021. This is a pretty large increase However, the consequences are too severe as other careers will become eliminated and job equality will become eroded. Legislation enforcement will not only ensure employment, but also ensure the safety and privacy of humans. In this image from Neurosize and AI statistics software, some countries have already begun to implement anti-use laws. The purple countries have AI-specific laws in force, which means they have banned AI. The light blue countries are planning to enforce AI-specific laws, and the dark blue countries, such as the United States of America, have policies but no restrictions toward the overall use. One of the biggest examples of legislation taking action is when the White House proposed an AI Bill of Rights. The AI Bill of Rights is composed of five main principles about the use of generative AI. The first principle states that all AI softwares should be safe and have pre-deployment testing before launch. The second principle suggests that all AI systems should be designed fairly to avoid discrimination. Along with the first principle, the third principle states that all AI systems should, all AI systems should be safe and ensure the privacy of humans. The fourth principle states that the user should be able to know how and why an AI system is being used. And finally, humans should have the power to correct AI if it is wrong. In conclusion, solution two, legislation taking action, is more effective. One of the most threatening functions of AI is cyber attacks. Cyber attacks can be launched by groups or individuals to gain personal and in some cases financial data on other individuals individuals. In this graph from Stealth Labs, a sudden 50% increase in the amount of weekly reports and organizations of cyber attacks was noticed. This is why legislation enforcement is the better solution as potentially a downtrend in this line could be noticed in future years. <laughs>